All right, let's have a look at how we are going to sort this list of paragraphs in alphabetical order. Now I'm going to re reveal the very first secret. We are not going to use cut and paste steps because A, my ABCs, I don't know them that well and I might get things in the wrong order. And B, it's going to take me a while. Now this is only a short list, but imagine if you've got a document that's got a, you know, 20, 30 pages long of paragraphs that need to be sorted in alphabetical order. It's going to take you well a while. So what we will do instead is we will use one of the sample scripts that is supplied with Adobe InDesign. And that particular script is designed to sort paragraphs in alphabetical order. And you might wonder what a script is. Well, a script really is just a little bit of code that someone's written to perform a particular task automatic. And it'd be something that you'd normally do manually. So you're going to be able to save some time. Now, from InDesign CS3 onwards, a series of sample scripts comes pre-installed with the application. For earlier versions, you will be able to download them from the Adobe website. I'll see if I can dig up the link and put that in the transcript. So where do we find these magical scripts? Well, they come pre-installed with InDesign, as I've already mentioned, and we access them through the window automation menu. And there they are, the scripts. The default installation of InDesign actually will install both Apple and JavaScript right here at application level. Um, if you're on a PC, then you will see VB scripts and JavaScript. Really, Apple and VB scripts are more platform specific. They are also more capable of doing sort of cross application interaction and interact with the actual operating system to do things probably easier than a JavaScript could, although JavaScript can do some of that stuff as well. Got to be careful what I say because I'm not a JavaScript expert here. But what I've done here is literally just expanded these folders and I'm taking a look inside all of these pre-installed JavaScripts and you'll see here there's a series of scripts and right down there we've got a script called the sort paragraphs script. So how do we use a script? Well there's a number of different ways in which you can execute a script. You can either double click it here in the scripts panel or you can run it from the panel menu and you can even assign a shortcut for it if you go to the keyboard shortcuts if you find a script in this list or another script that you might load later on then you can actually in the product area jump to the scripts product area and find that particular script that you want to apply via a shortcut there we go the sort paragraph and just insert a shortcut that you want to apply and make sure it's not assigned to anything else yet click assign and I'm just going to create a new set based on the default set here because I haven't yet done that and you'll see in the scripts panel you've now got this shortcut listed right behind it so I want to run this particular script and what I'll do is just highlight all of the text that I want to sort and I'll actually use the run script option right here So as soon as I've triggered the script, the sort option dialog appears. Now the first input requested from you as a user is what sort method are you going to use? Now, if you haven't yet formatted your text, you know, you might as well just stick to ignore formatting because obviously it goes faster than using the retain formatting option. Retain formatting, basically if you've applied any character styles, paragraph styles, manual overwrites, what have you to your text, none of that will disappear when these paragraphs are sorted. However, if you use the ignore formatting option, if you've got paragraph and character styles applied, you'd probably be safe. I'm saying it a bit cautiously because I haven't fully tested that. But if you've done any manual sort of overrides over styles, then you might find that you lose some of that formatting. So to be safe, I would probably choose the retain formatting option. A little bit slower, so at least you can blink an eyelid when I click on OK and you won't miss the action. 
but in this case I'm just using that one. Ignore spaces. What that does is it ignores any leading spaces that it that the script finds at the start of each paragraph. So it will just ignore them and it will sort on whatever the first character is that it finds. You also have an option to sort, sort in reverse alphabetical order. I'm going to go for alphabetical here. So here we go. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. Hey, you couldn't do it this fast yourself if you had to do it manually. So in the future, if you need to sort some paragraphs in alphabetical order or a numerical order, if there's you know someone's given you a manually typed numbered list and haven't hasn't used a numbered list feature in InDesign, then here you go. Sort paragraphs script. Enjoy.